Hey everyone out there, um, I'm going to do a quick review of this uh, PSLX300 USB Sony turntable that allows you to convert your albums to MP3s or some other format. Um, this turntable is right here, um, it's pretty lightweight. Um, you have a couple of uh, settings in the back, you have a phono in line, uh, if you have a phono connection on your uh, receiver, you use that connection. If you, you don't, you use line. You use the phono when you are trying to, uh, when you are converting your your uh, albums or 45s um, to uh, uh, your computer for MP3s. Of course, power cord, USB. This is how you connect it to the computer. Um, the inside. Um, this only plays 45s and 33 speed albums. It doesn't play 78s. It has the the adapter for your 45 speed records, and then uh, you, you need to change your speed and your size. There's a few things missing on this. Uh, there's no tone arm balance on a higher end turntable. There's no uh, anti skating um, uh, adjustment, and uh, this is not missing. You can change the stylus, um, and supposedly you can change it with something else that's uh, better, but. Um, um, I think I would recommend changing it to the factory stylus again when you've um, uh, run down the stylus. Uh, I've heard different reviews, um, some with great styluses, uh, even better sound, but they, uh, uh, they don't last as long as the factory replacement stylus. So. Uh, but uh, now we're just going to get into the software. So now we're just going to try to uh, convert one of these 45s to a uh, MP3 using the uh, included software, which is Sounds Forge 9.0, and there's newer versions of that. Anyway, on the, on the back of this, um, so you'll have your USB connection, and you'll just plug in the US included USB cable, and then the other side of this goes to your computer into one of your USB, USB slots. Here you'll have your uh, your 45 with the uh, adapter right here. You can take that off if you're going to do. Uh, 33 speed record um, and then you just have to make sure you have the right size selected here and the right speed selected over here uh, we're just going to do a short clip we have our start stop but I'm not going to use start stop and uh, here I just want to do a little clip so I'm going to uh, let it go down so this is the SoundForge software and um, you hit the record and then you hit this and here, I hit record, and I'm using all default settings, and so it's recording now. Um, when I'm ready to stop, I just hit. I can either hit stop, um, and then I can close this dialog. Um, and and here's what you have at hand. We can play this back. Let's go ahead and play this back. One thing you'll want to make sure you, you do is bring up your sound settings and make sure you select as your input device this USB audio codec which represents your turntable. And last but not least, um, so connecting it to your receiver if you have one. Um, I'm just doing it to a line in. But that's it. Um, unfortunately, the other side of this line that goes to the turntable isn't removable. It's permanent. So if anything happens to this cable, you're kind of hosed. So that's it for this uh, Sony PSLX300 USB turntable review. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this, and uh, see you next time.